Hello class, this is a short video on setting up VNC server in your Ubuntu virtual machine so that you can remote to that virtual machine when you are at school or when you are away from your computer. In order for this to work, you need to install a VNC server in your Ubuntu machine and then VNC viewer in the computer that you're going to use to control the virtual machine remotely. Um, so what we need to do is let's just go and download the VNC viewer in our machine. This Windows virtual machine make I'm gonna pretend that it is my laptop that I'm gonna take to school. And then this over here is the virtual machine, the Ubuntu virtual machine that is running in my desktop locally in my house. So I'm just gonna go to VNC viewer. And from here, yeah, let me just go full screen real quick, a little bigger. And since I'm using Windows on my laptop, I'm just going to click on Windows, download VNC Viewer. Great. And then on the on my Linux computer, I'm just going to look for VNC Server. And then here I am going to select Linux. Uh, DEVX64 uh, is the correct one because I'm using uh, Ubuntu. So let's click on Download. We're going to wait, the package has already downloaded, we can just open uh, the package here and click on software install, open, and this is going to install a graphical installer for our software. This can be also done in the terminal, but I'm going to keep it simple for this video. Oops, I put in the wrong password. Okay, so let that program install, and now we're going to install VNC Viewer in our computer here in my laptop. Again, viewer in the computer that I'm going to take to school, server in the computer that is going to be at my house. Meanwhile, this installation is going through. I need to create an account in VNC. So I'm going to click on sign in on the page over here. And I'm going to click on, wait, sign up right over here. Let's click on finish on this side. Let's provide an email address. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Perfect. And now let's choose a password. first name and I'm using this for personal use okie dokie yeah I'm gonna save that and let's sign in over here Do you mean that's not the correct password? Okay, let me fix that password problem real quick. Okay, so I was able to solve the password problem. So now that I have first successfully created a password, um, I suggest that you enable two-factor authentication uh, in this for extra security. So what I'm going to do now is let me minimize this. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open VNC server. See VNC server right over here. Let's provide our password. And now we're going to sign in.
OK, add to description not found. So why don't we fix this problem here? And we're going to do light, activate. Beautiful. So now that we have an active subscription, let's go back and click sign in one more time. Perfect. So authentication. So we're going to do the password that we have for BNC. That's fine. So now let's create a password. Now that I have uh, created my password, click on next. Yes, we're going to set this as default. That's fine. And we're going to click on apply. Let's type in our password over here. And we're almost done. OK, so we're done over here. This is how the window for BNC, viewer, BNC server looks like. So if I close this, notice that it stays open on the corner over here. The process keeps running in the background. And now in my laptop, I am going to sign in to BNC Viewer. The same process. Then the password. Oops, I type my email wrong. Correct. Now it's going to ask you, hey, we send a message to your email account. Please make sure that you know that you go over here. Yes, it's me. Continue signing in and authorize the sign in. Perfect. And now notice that here I have a computer assigned. So if I go to admin Steam and I click on CIS 106. click on continue. Now I can type in the password that I selected when I was setting up the server on the side over here. Now I'm going to click on remember password to make my life easy and beautiful. Now I can control my Ubuntu computer from my laptop when I'm at school. Just remember before you leave your house to leave your virtual machine running so that you can do this connection because if the computer is off, you will not be able to do this. But I close this. If you have any questions setting this up, please Slack me and I'll be more than happy to help you out. See you in class.